G'day Minecrafters and how you going? Steve-O here with another video and today I've come up with something amazing. Uh, this is probably the cool, one of the cooler things I've ever made and that is a wireless um, display screen counter timer. Uh, yeah, check this out. These are all... I've got this um, the sidebar thing toggled so that you can see the delay um, which I'll show you in a minute as well but as you can see it's fairly and these are all fairly independent unless they're part of the clock in which point they'll increment each other as you you'll be able to see in a moment when this goes to past nine it won't increment anything um, so doing it this way it does it independent doing it the other way it will increment um, and we've got a stopwatch feature here which uh, counts up three ticks later than the display on the side. Now, when I say three ticks, I literally mean three ticks. You've got, for example, your comparator here, then you've got a repeater, and then you've got a comparator on the back of there, and that's the only delay you've got, aside from the update clocks, which could be a tick um, off on both ones. So, potential for a uh, five-tick delay, really, uh, which really isn't that, that bad. And, in terms of it being wireless, so somewhere between three and five ticks uh, a d of delay, most likely less, but um, less than five that is. But yeah, so this will increment that, which increments that, and so forth. So if we were to increment this to Uh, this one here takes a little bit longer to get to one, uh, sorry, to increment, only because there's a two tick delay on this clock here, which is where the check is made, and on top of the already five, um, but we could put that on its own little clock, which increments as fast as those ones, I just didn't want to, <coughs> uh, I guess, add an additional lag if there was any, um, but it's, it wouldn't be overly difficult to, excuse me, to do. And yeah, so I'm going to explain the co the uh, the basics of how this all works. The uh, display itself is actually fairly easy to build. If we were to add another digit here, we would basically just need to build our seven segment display. Put you know. make room for it. <laughs> I'm not going to um, build one of those things because it is a little bit complicated but I will explain how it works so you can do it yourselves and I'll put all the uh, the syntax and stuff into the basic syntax into the description so you can make these kinds of things yourselves as well as put this up for download for anyone wanting to uh, check it out for themselves. Uh, those will be important in a minute just uh, bear with me. So we build a honeycomb kind of a shape. We put our command blocks in there. And then we just simply add half slabs like so and some redstone. Oops. block there, comparator on minus, and that's it. That's our whole device. Oh, actually one more thing, and that, so we don't get an AR uh, interruption here. Not that it really matters, given that uh, this goes up to there, but I, I kind of like to separate it, <laughs> personally. Uh, and yeah, so the syntax that goes into these is, pr uh, let me explain it first, actually. Pretty much, what I've done is I've taken the seven segment display and split it into seven segments. <laughs> as funny as that sounds. So, for example, this first segment, let's uh, put the timer back on. Have that counting in the background. Um, for each value, as you can see, there are negative spaces, and uh, bits that are on and bits that are off for each number. So, what I've basically done is figured out for each number, which ones are on and which ones are off, which is what those are over there. Those are my true and false statements. So 
for the number one, this, 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 and this are off. Now I've numbered them one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, for the first number, it's 1a, 2a, 3a, 4a, 5a, 6a, and 7a. For the next one, it's like 1b, 2b, 3b, etc. Now, over here, in terms of the command blocks, I've done some checks. So, test 4 at p score time is 3, score un underscore time minimum is 3. So, like, when it's 3, uh, this is what's going to happen. So when it's 3, uh, 1a is set as 0, so it's a false statement, which means it's off. 1a is off, 2a should be off as well, and the rest of them should be on. So like, for example, with a 3, you've got everything except for that and that are powered, which is why that is 1a and that is 2a. Um, so as you can see, that that's, that's 1 and 2b right there. And it's the same for 2 and the next one's C, and so forth. So, in order to make it work over here and here, you need to first, obviously, add them to the system. So, you would do, like, for example, I've already done it, so, score, I won't actually do it, do it. Uh, scoreboard, uh, objectives, add, for example, 1A, and dummy is the type of, of score. So that's what you would do, for example, for each one. So if I press enter, it will say it already exists. But yeah, that's how you would add them. And you do that individually. And the best part is you can do press up and then quickly access it, change it to 2A, etc. Now this last one here would be D. So 1A, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5D, 6D, 7D. <coughs> I won't make that because then my OCD will kick in and I'll have to make another one of these setups, but pretty much um, for the, the numbers would be the same for all of these. Uh, this one's the same as this one, the same as this one. The only thing that varies is the letter uh, after the number, so it would be uh, 1D instead of 1A or 1B. Now, we can reset the entire system quite easily. That didn't quite work. Let's do that again. There, there are times when um, you catch it in the middle of a clock cycle, and as you can see, it, it messes up the system. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure why that does that. Um, but that only usually happens with a reset, and I'm not, yeah, I'm not really sure why that is. I think I might have done a, some syntax wrong in the in the reset. Oh, that's oh, because it's players. Do it for all. That, that, that'd be why. <laughs> but, and what's interesting is, though, even though it might just disappear from the screen, uh, the minute you were to start, for example, putting things on the board, uh, they come back, so I'm not sure why that is. It just, um... I think it's a clock error, but uh, even if the display is completely blank, um, it won't mess up the clock. So, like, let me actually try and jolt it out again. There we go. It worked. <laughs> How about that? As you can see, it will still come back up, so yeah, there's no real loss. So, even though it might disappear off the screen, the numbers will still increment. That will increment the next digit. And that'll link right next digit, so you don't really lose out in the end uh, if it does that. See, so there's no issues whatsoever with that. Um, it's just a little display glitch, um, which I'm not sure why it does it. But anyway, I hope you found this useful. Like I said, we'll have this board up for download, and all the uh, um, syntax and stuff will be in the description, so you will be able to read that and copy it, or use it, whatever, play with it and build it for yourselves. Um, and ultimately, uh, thanks for watching. I'm Steve-O, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Got a little Swedish there. there. Yeah.